Um, so we sort of went back and forth at first between implicit bias and then communication before landing on communication. Okay. Um, so some of our answers were sort of also tied in with that as well. Okay. Um, so our five solutions sort of looked at different um, stakeholders in the communication aspect. Okay. So the first solution we came up with was having generally increased communication between PD and officers and the community that they serve. Um, and ideally having those in events that are um, non-enforcement settings so that like um, I believe Catherine was saying earlier, the officers that are serving the population are familiar with the community and the community is familiar with the officers and that communication line is built so that there's less tension. Um, our second one was to increase communication regarding um, de-escalation and de-escalation training and then enacting that communication in stops and interactions. Um, our third was having more scheduled collaborative events like these where we have a space to talk with different stakeholders and come up with solutions and share our different perspectives. Um, and so that's different from just overall community events like, I don't know, volleyball night or a barbecue, right? Yeah, so these, so the difference I guess between those, the first one is more just communication as like person to person right. um, to familiarize each other with officers and just be more of a solid community. The third one that I was saying is more of a targeted communication regarding issues and solutions and problem okay. solving and troubleshooting. I get that. Um, and then we also talked about communication between um, elected officials and stakeholders, including law enforcement. Um, so really looking back on what we were saying earlier about those laws and where they came from and how they are actually being enforced so that we can sort of bridge the gap between the original intent of the laws and how they're actually being enforced and how that applies in our current community. Um, and then one thing that was more specific to my line of work with uh, people experiencing homelessness was if there is going to be some sort of traumatic or triggering event like a sweep happening to make to increase communication surrounding that so like make a bunch of postings around the area prior to that event occurring in order to prepare the population and reduce trauma associated with that event um that was five. We also talked a lot generally about like civilians role in communication, communicating um, versus just like communicating with neighbors about what their views actually mean regarding law enforcement, what what their neighbors blue lives matter sign mean to them, what um, what their role is in calling out racist behavior when they see it um, and having that civilian person to person level of communication as well, which would also apply to officers, just people in general. 